you got your nice long drift right through that run and then you kind of pull back up let a water load and go up up back up again upstream but you know what sometimes don't forget that swing so when we're talking about swinging flies say you're fishing a, a nice tail out and there may be a little shelf at that edge of that tail out when you swing your fly and you let your flies get downstream of you as the current comes up and now you're putting tension on your flies at the bottom of the tail out they're rising up a little higher in the water column kind of simulating a small emerging insect occasionally there's trout that are hanging on the edge of that little shelf and they see a little bit of movement and a snack in the water and that's what they want simulating that we're we're drifting here and we kind of want our indicator to flow through a little bit of this faster water Maybe there's a little shelf down here that could be something holding on. Good grief. We're going to throw a little bit of a stack mend at it. And let this, let this drift tail out. Maybe swing out a little bit over that shelf. Come on. Finish out your drift with a little bit of a swing at this tail out. Pick it up. Get into the column here. Pick up your slack. Manage your line through. As your indicator starts to get a little downstream of you, throw in your stack mend, put it in all together. You can use your rod tip if you need to, to just kind of guide your fly line out to your right or your downstream. Give it a little twitch if it needs a little encouragement to get off of the rocks or whatever gravel bar might be down there. One more time and then really kind of talk through the swing part of it. Okay. Really on the swing. Okay. So we're gonna cast upstream, manage our line. Keeping in tabs on our indicator, keeping contact with everything. As our indicator travels a little further downstream and away from us, now we're gonna throw in a little bit of a stack mend as we put all these tools together here. Keeping your rod tip pointed downstream. Mend as you need to go along. And the current's gonna help kind of push our, our setup downstream of us. But you can also use your rod tip and a little bit of a twitch, gentle encouragement really. Get our flies downstream of us. And let our flies swing through the end of the tail out like they've caught a micro eddy or a micro current here in the river to uh, maybe travel out downstream of us. Appreciate Whitney Inman. She is with the Angler's Edge and she guides up there on the East Walker River. They're talking about how she kind of goes through a swing um, at the end of her drift and the times that she does it and how she does it and hopefully you picked up a little bit of knowledge on that and uh, again appreciate her going through it and spent a great day at, with her out there on the water she knows what she's doing she has a lot of skills and knows the area can put you on to fish let us know we'll put you in contact with her if you're looking for a guide for the east walker river we'll see you right here next time on the backcast.